It's time for the futures outlook. Been a volatile day for stocks. S&P fighting to stay in the green, as you know. That's following yesterday's big sell-off. For more on how futures traders are navigating those moves, let's bring in Jeff Kilberg of KKM Financial, Bill Baruch of Blue Line Futures. Guys, good to see you. Jeff, you first. Tom Lee says that we're oversold. Chris Heisey says to buy the dip. Fundamentally, what are you watching on the S&P? Well, fundamentally, it's interesting. We're in the heart of earnings season, Judge. We're seeing 180 companies report this week. And certainly, we're focused. You guys have been talking all this time about the giant tech. So today, we're looking at Microsoft. Thursday, we're talking about all four of the names, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, and Google, all reporting in the afternoon. And that's driving the market. You look at the S&P 500, 25% of the S&P 500 are those names. So I think we have to get past, we're in an election days this week. But once we get past this election, I think we go back to talking about stimulus. It's not if, it's not when, it's what and how big will that stimulus be. And that's going to drive the S&P 500 futures higher for the rest of the year. All right, what about technically, Bill? Despite all the fundamental headlines, tailwinds, hurdles, whatever you want to call it, the market remains very technical. Yesterday's big support level, 3405, 3410. Market broke down below there. That is now resistance. There's good, strong support at 3353. It held yesterday. But the longer we remain below 3405 in the near term, paves a path down to 3330. I'm bullish longer term, but I expect volatility to continue. And if you're trading, you've got to plan for that. Guys, good stuff. Jeff, Bill, thank you. We'll see you soon. We'll